<coughs> well, good morning and what, uh, welcome to Memphis Answers number five. Uh, today we got a question about uh, the uh, Memphis Monday 231 release we, we released this morning. Um, and we had a question from Fred uh, Ledger concerning the the fact that we didn't show the lid repair or we cut it lengthwise and then put it back together to correct some warpage we had in the uh, in the board and we also had two cracks well let's knock off the uh, chit chat and get to the answers here's uh, Fred Ledger's question he says uh, that the uh, restoration came all right I would have, uh, see, he says he much prefers the stain that you applied uh, versus the paint. And I would have liked to have a closer look at the crack repairs. Um, certainly looked very flat. And I replied, uh, the cedar ball balls probably work better. The oil does add a lot of smell, but it isn't uh, the subtle cedar smell we're accustomed to. And then I asked him if I can use his... Uh, his reply in my video and after I went out there and opened up the lid again you know that oil has had a chance to uh, to mellow out a little bit and it does the uh, the smell is a little more uh, subtle than it and I think that the C roll might actually work pretty good Let's go out and uh, take a look at the uh, project. And here at the piece, you can see we got the uh, warp out of it. Looks like we still might have maybe a sixteenth of an inch down here on this corner, but every place else it's flat, which is a pretty good, uh, pretty good result considering that the amount of warp that board had in it. And we also replaced the uh, trim. The main uh, thing we had to do here was we had to cut this board all the way through in two places um, to take that warp out of it and then we glued it back together. But we also glued back together the, the cracks and here you can see the cracks. There's one there. And there's one right there. Now, if the board hadn't been warped, we wouldn't have had to make those cuts. We could have just re-glued the cracks. But in any case, I think it, uh, it came out pretty good result if you can't see the saw cuts at all. They completely blended in. And if, you know, if, if you didn't know this thing had been uh, sawed in three pieces and re-glued, you would never even be able to tell from just looking at it. Here's the other side. Still see that crack right there, but it's been glued together. But you can't make out the... can't make out the saw cuts. Another uh, question was about the cedar oil and I replied that I didn't think the cedar oil had quite the same smell as as cedar but now it's been a couple of weeks um, when I open this thing up, the smell now smells a whole lot like cedar. So the cedar oil may work after all. Okay, so the answer is the, uh, the reason we cut the board into three different sections and re-glued them, re them together was not simply to fix the cracks, but to fix the big bow we had in the thing. Uh, so we cut cut the strips, glued them back together, and and came out uh, 
came out flat. If the lid itself wasn't bowed, it was actually uh, bowed up. Uh, if it hadn't been bowed and it was still flat, you can pry those cracks apart and put glue down in there and just glue them back together, which we did anyway. Uh, with an, a di you know, and we also added, uh, I think we added biscuits in there and put the whole mess back together. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, like, share, favorite, all the stuff you do on the internet. Make sure you're back here next week. Thanks for playing along.